Lisa Briggs from the Bruce Company is answering your plant and garden questions. The number to call 270-9933. Hi, Lise. Hello, how are you? Doing well, enjoying the cooler weather. Me as well. All right, let's get to the phones. We'll start with Linda in Janesville. Hi, Linda, go ahead. Oh, hi. Yeah, thank you. Um, my parents have what my mom always called resurrection lilies. And I don't know if it's a good time of the year to transplant them, but they have been mowed off. But I think it's a bulb that's underneath. It is. There. Can um, it be transplanted now, or should I wait? You're going to want to wait till after it flowers. So oh. resurrection lilies are also called surprise lilies, or sometimes they're called naked ladies. And it's a uh, bulb that sends up foliage, leaves, in the spring. And then that dies back. You mow it back. And then the flower pops up usually around the end of August or early September. So right now it's getting ready to flower. So when it's done flowering, you cut the flower stalk off, then you can move it. But I wouldn't do it now. You're gonna mess with your flowering. Okay, so later this fall then after it flowers again? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay. Oh, thanks. good. All right, thanks for the call. That's why they call surprise lilies, I guess. Let's go to Agnes <laughs> in Madison. Hi, Agnes, what's your question? Hi there. I planted about 20 gladiola bulbs, and mm -hmm. they grew beautiful, they're tall, the flowers came out, but before they were in full bloom, they all died. And they all got really brown on the back, and okay. I just pulled some bulbs out, and the bulbs seemed good, so I have no idea what happened. Okay, so they, they came up, but then the flowers just died off? Yeah, they, they, never, they never came out in full bloom, they just... They, they were tall, and there were a lot of flowers on them, but they never opened up. They all died and got brown in the back before they ever opened. Huh. And I, okay. I planted so the gladiola bulbs last year, and they were beautiful, so I don't know what happened. Are these new bulbs, or are they from last year? No, they were new. They okay. were new this year. That's odd. I would, you know, the best I can say without seeing what was going on, it sounds like it's a watering issue. Like maybe when they were just starting to flower that it was dry and the flowers just didn't develop? Yeah, not I'm, I'm necessarily, not sure. Yeah, there's not a gladiola disease or anything like that going around, so that would be my best guess without looking at them. Okay. All right, let's go to Diane in Oregon. Hi, Diane. Hello. What's your question? I would like to know if it's still too early to cut back the peony bushes now that they're all done. I would be sure that you're taking off any of the flowering stems, but I think it's too early to cut back all of the the foliage itself. I would wait until oh, I don't know, late September, early early October. Okay. If you're having problems with some um with some fungal diseases, I would spray them because you still need that foliage hanging around and um, making energy for flowering buds for next year. So it's too early to cut them all the way back. Okay. okay. Thank you. Let's go to Joan in New Glarus. Hi, Joan. Hi. I have a, a row of beautiful hostas in my backyard, but they hardly bloom. I guess, you know, a half of them bloom a couple stalks, and that's it. Do they need to be fertilized? Um, not necessarily. Hostas are pretty, um, pretty low maintenance. Sometimes if they're getting a little crowded, so they, they stop flowering, it might need, be that they need to be divided to get the flowering. A lot of people, though, hate the flowers, and so they'd probably be happy that they're not flowering. <laughs> all right. We're out of time. Thank you all for calling in. Lisa, thank you for your time. You're welcome. We'll see you soon.